How did you guys know you had a special friendship? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the vlog where I have terrible lighting and I still don't know what to do with my PhD. So normally when I vlog I like to start pretty early in the day and kind of like get the ball rolling. It's like 8pm. Um, I have been editing all day. Those of you who have watched the previous vlog will know that I was away basically all of last week in Edinburgh and at Warhammer World. Um, and now I'm finally coming back and finishing off this video on black holes, which I've just been desperate to do last week. It was so nearly done. I have spent all of today working on it, and I think I've just done the last bit. This timeline's pretty dense. There's like a lot of uh, graphics going on here. There's all these red things, uh, After Effects compositions, some of which, is, I did my first 3D work on this. Like this is definitely the most complicated thing I've done in After Effects. It's still pretty simple, but it took me quite a long time to work out how to do all the various 3D bits. Ooh, hello. So now I just need to do the final audio mix. So that's, um, all the, the dialogue's been done, you know, I recorded that ages ago. Um, now it's getting music underneath and making it all work kind of slickly, and then I, I'm uploading it and making sure I have the approval of the sponsor, and then we're, uh, away. <sighs> oh, at last. So this week, this video is going to be coming out. I'm going to be making a push to do more vlogs. Uh, we've also got a special trip this week. Actually, there's two special trips this week. One I am the recipient of because Dan, uh, from uh, loads of previous videos, uh, is coming here. The Emperor is coming here. We shall double our efforts. And we're recording a bunch of stuff for Spongy and Electric, which is my second channel, which you might not know about because we don't really put anything on there apart from the Wikicast. That's going to change. We are going to be putting some stuff on there uh, soon. Um, that's happening. And then also I've got a wedding to go to next week, uh, which my friend Joe, uh, who you met in the last vlog, uh, when we were playing Warhammer together uh, for a stag do, uh, he he's getting married and uh, Pixel Girl is coming with me, so I get to see my girlfriend again. So. That's only just been confirmed, actually, that she can come. So I am a very happy boy right now. Happy but tired. This is going to be an interesting week. Uh, not very much interesting happening today. Uh, although... Oh, just uh, ignore that. That's that's fine. I have this bad boy, which I just used to record uh, some pickup audio for the uh, Black Holes video. This is a direct audio interface, which means I can use my vocal microphone here and my shotgun. And I can now record them directly into the computer, which means... I can now seriously look at streaming. Probably the delay between the vlogs coming out and like the reality of them happening is enough that maybe this has already happened. But that's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. That also makes like recording podcasts and it's easier. But and it's one of those things where it's like quite nice like I've been, I've had my eye on it for a while. I just was like, right, save up. Next month, we've had a lot of expenses come out this month. Uh, so like next month, we're gonna we're gonna get that, and it's gonna like level up. And it's it's like almost like in a game where like you get the item uh, to advance you to the next level. And it's like, yeah, I'm so much more powerful because of this. And then of course it's like, but what about the next item? But this right here is a power up for me right now. It's kind of cool to see the the progression. So speaking of progression, oh look, it's Dame Judy Bench. <laughs> Thanks to uh, Helen Arney for sending us Alex's t-shirt. Uh, in fact, he's rocking an all black look today. Uh, oh, I mean, uh, we look like such gimps. We did not coordinate these t-shirts on purpose. <laughs> so shout out to Helen Arney at the Festival of the Spoken Nerd. Alex asked on Twitter for free merch, basically. Well, that's what I do. Yeah, like, we were like, if you want to send us geeky t-shirts, we'll wear them at the gym. What you've got to understand is that you've got to, you know, say you dress for the job you want? Yeah. You've got to act like you're a lot better than you actually are. <laughs> I know that, realistically, I'm a piece of <laughs> but on the internet, if I can act more confident... Then people will give you free stuff. People give me free stuff, because they think I'm somewhat important, but I'm not. No. No, of course not. No, you're like, do you not know me? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> So this morning I'm sorting out food for the next five days. As part of going to the gym, a uh, key part of it that I've always fallen down on before uh, is nutrition. Uh, and so this means I have a regulated source of meals, which are uh, basically nutritionally balanced, lots of protein, not that many calories, uh, not an emphasis on carbs. This is brown rice, uh, vegetables, and then there's gonna be cod going in. It's like an industry. I like doing this. It's actually quite liberating because it means that you just don't worry about food. So the other thing which I did this morning was finalise uh, the kind of release version of 
a black hole video. What I do when I make a video is do a few notes. Uh, that's why I keep these on my desk. So there are a few things to tweak which aren't necessarily obvious when you're editing, uh, but become very obvious when you um, see it online. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna get the sponsor approval, and then should finally come out. And when that's out, I'm now gonna move on to the vlog. There's actually two vlogs fully in the can. Um, I'm behind, I wanna kind of get up to date with that. I also do some contract work for some other people. Yeah, it's just, it's a lot to do. I feel a little bit overwhelmed at the moment, if I'm honest, but I always would rather have slightly too much to do than not quite enough. Now we're gonna watch some terrible YouTube and eat. Hello! Oh hey, I didn't see you enter in this totally natural candid shot. I'm kind of upside down. Okay, let's fix that. So it's about 10 o'clock, I have been editing all day. I've actually now just been waiting for approval to post this video, which is kind of one of the things about having sponsors. There's now another link in the chain. One of the main advantages of being a YouTuber is that you can be an individual creator with an audience of, I mean, not millions in my case. If you're Casey Neistat, yeah. But as soon as you start involving brands, then you know, you do have to get it through, uh, sort of check through people. Um, so I'm basically waiting for that. So I've been doing a little bit of contract work. I'm doing some videos for another podcast. Uh, it's actually a really interesting podcast. I'll leave a link um, <laughs> below to this podcast, which is about uh, translation, uh, translating literature. I've been doing that and I'm gonna be finishing up this one and then actually getting an early night because I am severely sleep deprived. And I haven't had any energy really to vlog today, which is why I haven't really vlogged today. This shot is surprisingly Cool. Oh no, it's like I'm filming vertical. Ah, whoa. Ah. Oh, oh cool. Okay. Oh, it's like I have a really huge selfie stick. Stick. Selfie stick. The Black Holes video is finally out. Oh my god. Better late than never. Hop in. <laughs> oh look, it's that boy! Oh my god. We're it's back. Daniel. It's just like the olden times. So, so Dan is here. We're about to record a Wikicast with the same technology that we used for the first uh, it's not like it's like a different age, like yeah. the Renaissance period. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the same this technology. Is vanilla, vanilla Wikicast. <laughs> well, we're in the same room, mm -hmm. uh, whereas now we do it separately. Dan's come up to shoot a video because I haven't actually showed them this in the vlog yet. Oh my god! Oh so my god. by the time this comes out, this will still be available. Uh, we've, we're doing Wikicast shirts. I'll insert a clip of Dan modelling one lusciously now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're recording a video for that, yep. which means we're both here, and I needed a, a small model because the t-shirt we have is a small, and it's a bit too small for me. So I was like, I know, <laughs> look at this, so it's like that picture of us. Do you remember the picture of us? Where yeah, I'm, oh uh, yeah, when you just look oddly weird. Yeah, I'll yeah. put that in the video as well. It's like that all over again. Dan's back here, we're, we're recording the Wikicast, but... We don't I... like looking at each other, this is weird, we're so used to not seeing each other when we record now that we just tried to start the podcast and we were staring at each other at <laughs> um, Okay, so it's now strange. Dan's got this weird sex show of me where you can see my silhouette through a diffuser. Yeah. So podcast recording over, we're now, I'm modelling, making Dan model for me because we are, we're doing the advert for, which you've probably seen by now, mm. uh, the advert for these t-shirts. So we now need to take the clothes off for this next shot. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> oh no! How did you guys know you had a special friendship? Well... <laughs> it's about the time when Simon covered me in stickers of our faces. This is the perfect exercise in, like, narcissism. <laughs> it's great, it's perfect. I love it. The facial recognition is like, what the f*** is yeah. going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's too many people! That kind of thing. Again, the music doesn't really add to these in intensity, does it? Whip pan. Yes. So we just finished recording the video for these two chumpy t-shirts. Mm. We're now going to try and live stream. Literally do my first ever live stream on Twitch because Dan's here and we may as well masquerade under the fat. Oh, oh my god! It's <laughs> working, it's a thing. Why was that one so loud? Oh, I don't know. It sounds like the Superman theme. Ba bum, ba bum, yeah, ba bum, ba bum. Here we go. Right, okay. Let's let's see if we can make this work. Wait. Uh huh. 
Right, time to support the family business. So my pair of formal shoes basically fell apart. Literally the soles came away from the leather. Uh, and I'm going to a wedding this week, so it's time for me to get some new ones. There's only so much difference between black shoes. This is not going to be difficult. <laughs> I love how my life is basically spent entirely in my studio, so every time I leave, it's like, oh, let's do some, you know, proper editing for this one, try and make it look interesting. I just went and bought some shoes, guys. My life is not interesting. I nearly said this is why I couldn't be a daily vlogger. He says in his daily vlog. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I'm not a smart man. Now I just need to find Dad. He's a 60 year old man, and there's an M&S right here. He's either going to be looking at socks or at wine. Knew it. Okay, so yesterday was fun. Uh, it was actually really fun to kind of share the, a creative space with somebody uh, like like Dan, who you know we, we just made um, will be out by now the advert for the merchandise, which was just completely improvised. Like it's really fun, and the same with Alex. Like being able to do stuff with with other creators. Like when I'm so used to being on my own, um, it's really really fun to just kind of bounce ideas off of people. It's something that I have a plan in the long long distant future that maybe will one day come to fruition. They'll be based around that. But that's like years away. So, so far today, I have been editing that video for the merchandise, which took a little bit longer than I expected because I kind of went a bit too deep in with, with a few effects. Uh, hopefully it kind of showed through. It's just a, it was just a fun thing to edit. And, and whilst that's rendering, I have been updating the store part of my website because that's now a thing. I was actually chatting to people in, there's like a group chat I'm in with a bunch of other YouTubers, um, chatting to people about this, about like the whole idea of merchandise and commodifying yourself and your appearance uh, because I'm trying to consciously, wherever I can, move away from having my face in thumbnails because I feel uncomfortable commodifying my appearance. Um, for one thing, it doesn't feel earned. Um, like, also, I think most importantly, I've always had this belief, and I've always been taught this belief, that people that uh, bank in on their appearance are narcissistic and vain. And perhaps I have a slight Disney Prince mentality about this whole thing, but I don't want to be either of those things. So I've always very consciously tried to not... Yeah, like, I, the, I, commodifying myself based on the things I represent, like being a PhD student, being a scientist, um, you know, being like a YouTuber, um, all these ideas. I have a problem with forming an identity and kind of almost selling me as a product based on those. But appearance is different. Appearance is, is kind of strange. And as um, my friend Brian pointed out, like, you know, you do have a t-shirt with your face on now, which is really strange. Like, that's still strange to me. But it's like stylized and it's, it's not just me. It's, 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 it's like Dan and I as a pair. I don't have such a problem with that. I think the idea of just having me, like my face on a t-shirt, especially if it's that face, that's not going to be a good look. Uh, I don't want to be that guy. And I hope that people call me out if I ever become that guy. I mean, look at me, I look at this lighting, I clearly don't care about my appearance. Early start today. I kept waking up, like, every hour. I was so paranoid about being late. I was like, really? Yeah. <laughs> so Alex and I didn't want to miss a session this week. Uh, and so we are up at... What time even is it? 6.04, we're, yeah. we're, we're in. Have you eaten anything? No. Okay, the only thing that I am having <laughs> for breakfast is pre-workout. <laughs> yeah, you feel longer. Have you not got any? No. Do you want some? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like everyone else has had exactly the same idea. It's 6 a.m. Gotta get to the lab, gotta get to the lab, gotta get to the lab, gotta get to the lab. Okay, bye. Okay, lots to do today. 9.30 a.m. and I've already been editing for like an hour. Um, this is the vlog uh, from like two weeks ago. I'm really conscious that I'm behind on the vlog because I literally have, I think, two full ones in the can. And then um, obviously this week's one that I'm... I, ideally, I want to be editing these vlogs at the end of each day, just kind of cut everything together rather than doing everything in one big go. But uh, yeah. Having one of those days where I'm actually enjoying editing. Which is just as well. So the vlog is now edited um, and currently uploading. My internet speed is like 1.5 up. So it's, a f this is nearly 50 minutes, this vlog. It's a big old vlog. Cause it's the one that's got the discussion with Penny in. Um, so that's like 
17 minutes or something at the start of the vlog, and then like the, the vlog kind of really starts. Um, but I didn't want to compromise on that. I, I, for one thing, I promised that it was going to happen. I'm damn sure going to put it in. Uh, and then also, um, I think it was worth putting in in basically full. There were just a couple of cuts just when stuff happened that you know wasn't wasn't contributing, wasn't stuff that Petty had said. It was like background noise, something like really loud clanging, and we had to redo stuff. So it's going to take a while. Uh, and I just wanted to sort of talk about, in the vlog, I mentioned that, like, just before filming, I'm like, well, all this effort's gonna be good as long as it doesn't, as long as it doesn't, you know, flop. And of course, I have, like, two weeks later, when I actually released, it definitely flopped. Uh, I would consider a video a success if it got uh, more than 20,000 views in its first 24 hours. Uh, it would be a great success if it was more than 30,000 views in the first 24 hours. The vlog, sorry, no, not the vlog, the Black Holes video got less than 10,000 in 24 hours. And I think the issue is that, um, whilst the video itself, I think, is one of my best, and all of the comments on it have been fantastic, They're all, all, all of the comments have been uniformly positive about how um, much people enjoyed it. Um, you know, so great, it means I made something good. It, I think what that tells me is that it was a topic, either it was a topic or I'd marketed it in such a way that was not appealing to a mass audience. And it comes back to this whole, like, measure of artistic integrity, right? Do you make stuff that you think is good, but, uh, or, you know, the best stuff that doesn't get seen by many people, like art house cinema, like objectively just better films that get seen by nobody, or do you make stuff that has less intellectual content that has less individual worth, but gets seen by loads of people. So Transformers, basically. Do I want this channel to be like Whiplash or like Transformers? <laughs> like, obviously I want it to be like Whiplash. I think that there's uh... I don't want to make stuff that is just bland and populist. However, at the same time, I have to be able to eat and, you know, make enough money from, from making videos. This is stuff, this is where stuff like Patreon is super important. Um, and I'm, I'm, that's not a plug, that's literally just me saying that I think that that is, that is a really important reason for Patreon to exist. Um, you know, supporting people that are making uh, stuff that might, it's either low volume, there's not very much of it, but it's very high quality, or it's stuff that is very niche and very specific. And I realised that the kind of videos that I've been moving into, which is science, and specifically doing quite a few on the history of science, they are quite niche. And you know, that, it, having the direct support from patrons on Patreon is, is super, a super important way of, of making sure that you can do that. That said, of course, there's a way to market and title and thumbnail uh, videos which are very niche, but you make people want to click on them. Uh, and I feel like I really hit that on the head with um, the video I did on what books to read if you want to study physics, for example. That's done so well, was really easy to produce, was was filmed in very short time, was like the simplest thing to edit in the world, and ha currently has more than ten times the views of the black hole video, which was definitely more than ten times the work. So there's a factor of a hundred difference in terms of work and uh, outcome. Uh, in terms of, you know, revenue, but also impressions, you know, actually people seeing the thing. So, I think what I need to do, my objective as a YouTuber at this stage, is to get better at optimising my content. Not necessarily changing what I make, uh, or at least not the topics that I'm looking at, but trying to angle them in such a way that gets more people interested. Some people are really good at this. Like, some people are excellent. Uh, 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 doing titles and thumbnails that just make you want to click. I am not one of those people. It's a weakness of mine. And I don't like weaknesses. So I better... destroy it. If you wonder why I've got into this habit of, like, vlogging on the floor, the floor is really underrated as a place of comfort, for one thing. But also, I am so tired. Like, oh my god. I do not give myself enough sleep. What am I doing tonight? I'm editing till late! The wikicast isn't gonna suck itself. Wait. So for those of you that didn't see the last vlog, um, my mate Joe is getting married, uh, who I went to Oxford with, and um, he's actually getting married quite close to Cambridge, which means I'm going with Pixel Girl. So, a wedding and I get to see my girlfriend. Oh, 
Oh my god, you look so nice. So we're now here for Joe's wedding. With a, uh, she's still pixelated, but she looks really, really nice. Wow. Pixel girl. Um, this is kind of grand. I, I never doubted your ability. My mum and my aunt did. They were like, "You can look horrific." I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> So I should explain that Joe doesn't live here and his bride doesn't live here, his wife now doesn't live here. Uh, this is a really nice venue uh, called Henningham Castle, which uh, they just picked and it's really, really, really nice. But yeah, they, don't, they, don't, they can't afford a place like this quite yet. So after the wedding, I've got a day in Cambridge. We're here in Homerton, which is Pixel Girls College. Um, doing work, basically, which for me has been catching up on uh, emails because even I've just been out of the office for like a day or two days and being away from YouTube stats and emails, it builds up. And what's become clear is that the uh, vlog went live, uh, um, which was uh, the vlog talking about uh, racism extra with my friend Penny. Um, and also the video um, getting merch, uh, announcing merch. And the merch has gone way, way better than I expected. Like, at, at, the, at the moment, we've got about 90 orders in, which is literally twice as many as I thought we'd get in the whole pre-order run. So that's been an amazing success. And uh, what's also clear is that people haven't really liked the vlog very much. Now, I want to be clear that I'm not trying to make one of those videos where it's just, like, me going... How could this happen to me? Because I am not uh, automatically entitled to have an audience that likes everything I do. Of course, there are going to be some things which you make and people just don't like. They're going to dislike it. A lot of people would unsubscribe. The past two days, uh, between the merch video and this video, I probably lost out on several hundred subscribers. Um, normally I gain a few hundred a day, and yesterday I gained 20. So like, you know, uh, there's been a big, big cull of people from, from the channel. Um, which, together with the, the lack of views and the, the number of dislikes, is obviously quite discouraging. But at the same time, this isn't a topic that uh, the racism discussed in that video is a naturally polarising topic that I have not really talked about in the vlog before. Um, you know, the merch stuff is definitely aimed at a particular subset of the audience, people that really, really like the stuff I make, and I'm... I'm honestly blown away by the fact that like, the people that really do, uh, that we made that video for, uh, have loved it. Like, and have been like, yes, please, like, I want, I want t-shirts now. Uh, that's obviously incredible. But like, you know, naturally the people on the other end of the spectrum are like, why am I subscribed to this? So they unsubscribe, which I can completely understand. You can't help but get a little bit disparaged when a lot of people take a look at something you've made and they're like, nah. I'm out. And I think this has played into, just generally over the past couple of weeks, you know, I didn't release anything for a while because I was away and because I was working on the black hole video and I was like, yeah, this video is going to do so, so well. Um, I think it's really interesting. I think it's really well made. When I released it, the people that did watch it have loved it. Really, really lovely comments, fantastic likes to dislike ratio. Um, you know, couldn't be happier for that. It's just that people aren't clicking it. Um, and it, it did feel a little bit like, oh, okay. That's, you know, all, all that work has, has gone into not very much, but okay, never mind. And then you release a vlog and it doesn't really get that many views uh, and you lose a whole bunch of subscribers. And, you know, this is like, I'm worrying about a couple of hundred subscribers and a 90% like ratio, as opposed to, you know, the 120,000 people who are subscribed to the channel and normally a 99% like to dislike ratio. Like, it's like the YouTuber version of first world problems. But at the end of the day, I am human and these things do start to weigh down on you. And again, I wanna be very clear, I am not, 
trying to make a video that, that's like... I just wanna scream! What I'm saying in this series, which is, as far as I can tell, uh, like a, an honest video blog of what it's like living my life, trying to finish off the PhD, trying to work out what to do with the PhD, and make videos, and just generally try and make a positive contribution with the academic skill set I've been given. In, in that sense of, of it being an honest re record, um, that, this is... It's, this thing is affecting me in a negative way. Um, I guess I am whining, but I'm also realizing the limitations of like the impact of what this is actually gonna have on me. What I definitely now need to do is um, just sort of take stock and be like, yeah, you've had a couple of videos now, for quite a while, that haven't done very well. Uh, the last video I did, which did really well, was the um, uh, physics reading uh, video about, you know, read these books if you want to study physics. I think I basically, in line with what I said earlier this week in terms of like balancing what I want to make and what's actually going to get views, I need to take a long look at how I can balance it um, and what I can do that that is in both camps, that is a positive contribution to the universe and, you know, is going to get people interested because it's very possible to do that. I've done that before um, and I've just got to sort of look at what I've got planned what's coming and then say you know how can how can how can we make this better this is this so failure has like motivated me here because this you know <sighs> the end goal of being a youtuber is to be watched right it's to make stuff that people watch that people like and that people want to subscribe and recently i've been making stuff that people haven't watched people have disliked and that's made them unsubscribe so it, to me at the moment you could argue it's a weeding and it's like getting rid of people who I wouldn't want watching me anyway, and some of the comments on the vlog have definitely been of that nature. But I think it's kind of constructed to view this as a failure, because you then say, right, off of that, how, how can I improve? This is now a motivation to do better. So that's basically where I'm at today. This is an opportunity. Also, John Hammond, wasn't he the guy from Jurassic Park? The voice you're now hearing is John Hammond. I spared no expense. Spared no expense. Spectacular design. Spared no expense. Anyway, I've wandered like the length of Homerton College, which, as you can see, is kind of under reconstruction. Uh, but a very nice college. Uh, a lot of green. I've got to say, I know like it's known as being a very postgraduate-heavy uh, college in Cambridge, but it's really nice. Uh, can't wait to come here in summer, and I'm, I'm going to the ball here, which presumably you'll be coming along too. But yeah, I should probably get back to work and uh, start writing the next video, which is going to do well.